now we are going to talk about some some transaction code that we are going to use for configuration like layout change so we are going to go into this transaction code customer company code master data and here you can default the way the tab tab looks so you can flip the orders and all those things based on your requirement or your business need this is one which is pretty handy okay now if you don't want to change it it's up to you but based on the requirement you might want to change this is another transaction bpm sd so it would be here in our favorites which will be delivered through the course okay so here also you have some related with sales shipping billing documents so you can tweak the number of the tabs and all those things for your usability the next one is a program this is very useful use it wisely i think your usage should come after like three years you are in s4 hana okay so that will really help you okay mm, truly speaking and uh, so if i go here i uh, put this transaction okay and i just execute test mode okay mm, fill out all the required fields put star okay so here if you notice it will take some time because there's a lot of data in the system okay once it runs it will tell well which are the ones that doesn't have any usage and you can take the decision whether you want to get rid of them or not so always from as a as a recommendation uh, if you move to s4 hana in 2020 you want to use it in 2023 just to make sure for the first time and after that you know i will probably recommend you to schedule this and accordingly get a get a report for all the ones that are uh, that are inside this report and do another quick check before you actually delete so if you see these are the ones that can be destroyed these are the ones that cannot be destroyed so there's a reason behind because there is activity for all those now if there's no activity for some stuff it can be destroyed pretty easily so this is really helpful and i think let me see can i bring in anything i think that's it so these this is pretty useful and i think this is another thing that you should always keep in mind i will recommend you again to to run this after three years you implemented s4 don't forget it put it as sticky or something you know uh, i don't know whether you might be working in this company after three years after s4 hana but you but it's always wherever you are working there will be s4 hana somewhere and you should be using this this will help you yeah, help in keeping the system lean and the performance will be always good okay so this is pretty useful the next one that we are going to talk about uh would be would be the synchronization cockpit which we already covered is the next one is the change document change document report so we are going to go back and we'll execute this transaction okay okay it does not exist as i put something i put an extra space so when i put an extra space things transaction or it's just a program probably it's a program so we'll go as he 38 that's why it was not showing there so just execute so this is the program so it basically doesn't have data here because the change document has not been activated but once you are running in a real live s4 system you'll have this okay so if we go in details if you go to the status and there's a change document object they it's checking and if you see this is the change document object so this is not activated in the system that's why it's not showing okay so this is the one uh now if you notice there's a t code they're saying bpcd i think this is related with, with customers for bp so let's just check okay let's go here we'll just put 
enough. So this is another transaction that we'll be covering in the later slides. Let's go to the next one. This is the BP vendor check. Probably, I don't know. This is also transaction code or uh, or uh, T or a uh, report. Let's see. Oh, this is the transaction code. Good. So we'll just do a test run. So this basically tells business partner to vendor linkage maintained is consistent. So this system has the uh, that portion really good. Now we'll do the next portion. BP customer check that was the vendor check and now this is the customer check so we'll see the customer check this is another transaction we go here we press enter and there's I mean, some inconsistency so the business partner and the customers there's an inconsistency between this and you can act you can take some action on this um, Mm, so they are saying this table. So this table seems to be useful. So what we are going to go is we'll go to this table. We'll go to SC16 and we'll see this table. And we'll see which are the ones that have inconsistencies. So if we notice there's some inconsistencies coming here. And what was the inconsistency? 197 1001 Y97. The customer was this one. Control Y, Control C. And if I populate it, here is the inconsistency. So, so this is the customer number. And I searched with this one, yeah. I searched with this, and this is the customer number. Okay, so let me go and we'll go to the BP screen. Let's go to the BP screen. What we are going to do is we'll do a customer search with this. Ooh. That's Chinese or Japanese? I, yeah, that's Japanese. Yeah, pardon me on that because. I some sometimes uh, actually I don't know this sign so it's it's I think it's always Chinese but it's Japanese here so if you think that there is a there's a problem here somewhere so it's causing so can I change stuff here I don't know probably I'll put something T Ooh. and I'll save it let's see if it probably it will save that's it. Or is getting mad? Probably is getting mad now. So it shouldn't take down so much time to save it because I think since this is an erroneous data, it cannot save. So I'll just what I'll do is see data or not save due to error. See long text. Oops. So that's the problem. Changes. It says it didn't change, but it changed. Okay. Well, there's some serious problem for that, for that particular record. Okay. The next transaction where we which we are going to discuss is this one, BPP V1. Again, let's see whether we have data on this. So this data you get, you get it in a real out of system. So if you notice, we can see it. The reports generates a business partner overview. You can limit, sort, you know, you can, it's business partner overview where it tells what other business partners created for what role and all this thing. I think it's not activated in the system. That's why it's not showing. So, or there can be lots of other reason, you know. Uh, SAP is sometimes deceiving. You might, probably I don't have authorization to execute it. Yes, guess what? I don't have authorization. So whenever you get something, oh, it doesn't have it. You have an error on all those things, and you cannot really execute. Is because it does it's not the problem with the data. You don't have authorization to execute. That's the problem. So that's the security issue. So whenever you have this type of problem, you might say, oh, there's no data. Like I was saying but you know actually you don't have authorization probably for this also i don't have authorization so 
Now, this is something that will come in from experience. You might say, oh, as if you should give me an error, like, oh, it really, uh, you're not authorized. Well, not everything is not like that way. So this one also, I'm not getting anything. I don't have authorization. So that's why I'm not getting this. The data is there. So whenever you get this, the best thing you do is you you go to that particular transaction, probably the next one also I will have the same problem. So I will execute this, now I'll execute. See, it's available for selection. And then what you have to do, you type in slash N SU53. Oops, I gave an extra space. Slash N SU53. And you press enter. And if you get this, this red, 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 that means you don't have authorization. Okay. If it's green, 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 that means you have authorization. Simple thing. Okay. And this is a very good trick because what you really care and what really the, you are helping the security team to give you the authorization is when you give this dump and it's easy for them to find out which roles are there and what T code needs to be assigned. Because there, it's not only about T codes, there are stuffs that they do it in the lower level, like the authorization rule, like the company code, the plant, and all those things. So if you are giving them this dump, it's really helpful. Okay, it's like, okay, you gave me the actual details that will help me to give you the role faster. Okay, so that will stop the ping pong between the security team and you, uh, what particular T code you are executing, why you are executing, and all those things. It's really helpful. So let's go to the next next transaction code, which is BPCD. I think we went to that. Uh, let's go again, and we'll probably have the same problem. Okay, so we'll just click on it, we'll execute, and we'll see again whether I don't have access to the transaction. And probably I don't have. It. So the same problem. The next one would be BPCF. So let's see this one. So go into this transaction and let's see. I think I have the same problem. So that's a, so once you have the transaction, we can I for sure I think I have transaction for this. Okay, let's see. So this one. This one we have, okay, so here if I suppose put X, Y, Z, doesn't, oh, window already sales. So you cannot, so here is one very important thing. You cannot assign the same vendor to multiple business partners. So it's a one-to-one. -one. Always remember, one-to-one, -one. okay, business partner to vendor, one-to-one, -one. okay, business partner to customer, one-to-one, -one. okay, that's very important. Remember that sign. It's like an opposite V with the business partner in in the end. It's like this. It's like the PowerPoint we had it in the previous, the first or second screen. It's like this. So always keep this in mind, and that will be very helpful to understand. It's a simple concept. It's a concept, and once you have this in your mind, you will never fail. In this. Okay. So this is pretty useful. Now the same thing. We are going to do the other phase. The this one. F L B P C two. So we'll do this one. That I think does the other thing. So if I say suppose X Y Z, and I want to put suppose this one. So already assigned to. So you again the same thing. So it proves all these things. So here there are the different roles you can assign. Okay, so these are the different roles that I can assign to. So, so the next one would be, I think, related with customer. Okay, let's see the customer portion would be similar. Okay, vendor and customer is just two sides of a coin. 
so we'll just put this one and we'll try to is already assigned so same thing the next one would be um, linking a bp to a customer okay same thing we'll just populate this and you'll we'll see the same thing uh, can i do this uh, probably I'll put this customer link so i have to give a role here that that role was not mandatory in that but this is something see here it's the same problem so one to one okay now the next one is the bp customer screen configuration so this is the where you can configure the screens and here you can define the address overview and all those things so for some reason i don't have this uh, thing let me see can i do something or it just bombed me out i'm just trying to enter screen configuration oh, did it do anything no nope. so uh probably i don't have authorization to this also so this is this is something where you can you know you can do the screen configuration so let me see can i do anything here account holder it takes me to this and what it does this edit screen oh here it is well i can edit the screen sequence oh i just edited it here address overview let's see Mm, this would be fun so this is the customer one okay let me do one thing before i do anything i need to open up a business partner right that's the way to go that's the way to be smart so we'll go to bp pick up a good customer okay the previous one had some errors so we don't want to do it so this is the perfect space so here you see is currently locked by you why because i have to open it somewhere okay so here it's locked okay good so now what we are going to do we we'll go to our thing magic thing this thing and we are going to change it here let's see whether it really matters uh, so here if you see it's address address over mm, we really uh, don't care about address overview we create we really care about this payment transaction to move here can i move a little more can you move back yes so i just changed it okay let's see probably oh, do get mad at me okay let's see should we find something okay well it happened can i save it oh yeah saves now let's go now we are going to go back we're going to go to the pp transaction and we'll see whether it really worked out okay so we'll do customer mm -hmm. so what we did is we moved the payment transaction oh it was the account holder that's the trick man so we have to go we go went here so it's account holder so i have to search with an account holder thing if there's any other uh, thing so i'll go back uh, hit the back button just close this can i can i can i pick one that has the customer mm. business partner channel we will never miss this piece for sure so i'm excited so what we're going to do is we are going to tweak it here move it here move move it you move okay you move it let's make the status also move control is getting behind and we'll hit the status and we are going to go into this view and that's it and we'll save it everything in SAP you need to save it that's very important now what we are going to do is we are going to go back hit the business partner and now we are going here and we'll see what happened so we are going to do 
business partner. So here we can just go to business partner general view and uh, that's where we changed it, right? Business partner general data was saved. Oh, this was for customers, right? This is only for customers. So, uh, so let me see again. Okay, this is for customer. And we'll see customer identification control. Let me see how is it looks. Status control. So it is still there. Now does it change? Status control. This is the same. So it seems like it didn't work. So but but we saw more or less probably the authorization is not there or you know this is the so this is the way we have to tweak it. Probably have to go go back and hit again like this. And there it says now, probably. Did it save? Did I go back? Hit the back button. We'll try again. Last time. Okay. Never know. Sometimes SAP. But we found a way how you can, you know, do the arrangement. That was pretty slick. So we moved the status for sure. I do remember. Something. Oh. Well, it didn't move. So, what? Well, so, well, we didn't move, so we moved the status here. Can I move here? Can I move these things here? No. So that that's the way it is. So this was this this was this was unique. And now let's go to the next transaction, the B U C H, the business partner customer field group activity. Okay. So we will just see slash n b u c h, and I think here you can you can do a lot of things, pick up the ones that you can hide and all those things. This is pretty useful. We'll we'll discuss this a little later. 